When we saw their ROVs, we saw that there's so much more that we can do. There's no capacity to how much you can think. The 2015 MATE International ROV Competition unleashed student robotics teams from around the world on St. John's, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada. Though St. John's Labrador could only be heard vaguely in the background, you get to do it with your friends, so it's an experience. The facilities made available by the Marine Institute of Newfoundland and the National Research Council's Ocean, Coastal and River Engineering Facility made for eager and enthralled participants. Being here at the uh, OCRE, where generally you'd have to be working here to be able to see this amazing equipment they have. We have the opportunity to see it and be part of it with our ROVs. The facility was a huge change from anything that we've ever seen before. And because of that, it was so much more like a real environment in that you really don't know what's coming until you're there. And it's really difficult to practice for conditions like that. And that was a huge highlight for me. The internationality of the event made it less of a competition and far more a cultural exchange of ideas and inspiration. It's been really, really brilliant to see all the, all the different teams from all different countries coming together. The people from Denmark, and Russia, and China, like people you never think you'd meet before and you get to meet them here. I've really enjoyed it. After assembling what would be their robotic overlords for the next several days and going through rigorous safety checks and custom apparel fittings, the teams were ready to make a splash, if not quite ready to do a wave. For some, the experience was the first of its kind. This is my first year in MATE, and my first year also in internationals. This is my first year in MATE. This is my first year. This is our first time competing. While for others, this year's event was another step in a long journey in underwater robotics and engineering. I've been doing this for six years now. We've gone from building very simple vehicles to building more technologically advanced vehicles. Our vehicle this year is the uh, pinnacle of all we've been working on in the past. We came in with a vehicle that was superior to any we've built before and it performed accordingly. Once thoroughly briefed and under the watchful eye of the mate experts, the teams dove robot first into an obstacle course sinisterly plotted by Machiavellian masterminds, simulating the demands of the offshore oil and gas industry and the difficulties encountered exploring the polar regions. My favorite mission has been the ice tank, for sure. I thought that was a really cool location. The ice tank is pretty good, it went well. We accomplished a lot of things, but it's really cold. <laughs> my hands are numb by the end of my driving. The competition was an icebreaker into the real world of ROV deployment. Hey, hey, whoa, careful. Hey, guys, watch it, watch it. Moreover, the realities of maintaining a fine-tuned piece of technology in working order under these demanding circumstances were made tragically clear to many teams. I also like troubleshooting a lot, and we have a lot of that. When it worked, that was probably the best part. When we flew over on Tuesday, it was working perfectly fine, and then we found out nothing was working. We've encountered many uh, troubles and during our trip because of shipping. We started off with both cameras. And we they broke me and him sit up two days to work in a hotel room to fix our cracked ROV. But out of the darkness of despair comes the light of camaraderie, as each team worked through countless trials and tribulations and emerged as true colleagues in the process. Some thoughts are going through to give up, but we just kept on pushing, kept on fixing it. We overcame and did the best we could. We've developed a great camaraderie amongst our, our teammates and it's been an incredible experience. My team just, they work together so well and it was just such a blessing to have them. It's helped me a lot, even if I don't go into underwater science or technology because there's so much benefit to working on a team in a company like Setting and like we've had our difficulties but we've worked through them and I feel like that's extremely beneficial. Coming here and actually competing as a team and almost like a company, it, it has been a totally different experience and I gotta say it has been one of the best. It's fun. It's just, it's fun and terrible at the same time. From developing a spirit of entrepreneurship, business savvy, and collaborative execution, each team found themselves with a clear vision of the future of this field and their place within it. I didn't really have a lot of knowledge about ROVs, but after this experience in St. John, I'm seriously considering about a job in the ROV industry. The fact that I can relate my school studies, like my physics, maths and, and chemistry, to an, a proper project, an ROV, and to see it working in action is is, is something else. I discovered my love for programming through this program, so I'm really excited about it. First I was planning just to go for mechanical, but after seeing robotics, I would think of going for that. This uh, whole competition has given each of us a, a sense of what 
it's going to be like in the workforce and has prepared us for that. Over our time of building these payloads, we've been in contact with a lot of different companies as an actual student on company. And we recently got a job offer from the University of Southern California to go off the coast of Catalina with this ROV and do tests. Real money. Real, Real money. money. So we've taken a lot from here and we're going to go back and then work harder and come back again next time. Nicely said. This competition was made possible by the following lovely people and organizations. Give them a hand while this scrolls. We'll see you again soon for the 2016 Mate International ROV Competition from the Gulf of Mexico to Jupiter's moon Europa. It's gonna be out of this world.